Welcome to day four of the Wizzes Forum with a look at other exciting initiatives taking place. Away from the meetings there are plenty of stands and exhibitors highlighting some of the key measures they've already put into place that go hand in hand with the Wizzes action lines. From the United Arab Emirates, for example, a groundbreaking massive switch of medical services online, allowing faster access to treatment and, at the same time, there is a sustainability gain too. We're implementing a lot of initiatives and this year we're actually concentrating on the sustainability. So we have the, the Green Patient uh, Initiative where we're actually increasing the number of virtual care or telemedicine visits online so that we could reduce the travel of the patients from their places to the hospital or to the clinic. And with that actually we're contributing in the, uh, in the reduction of the emission of the carbons on the environment. Another innovation on display comes from a team in Brazil which allows children with disabilities to learn and communicate through easy to use inclusive technology which also meets the UN Sustainable Development Goals. We went to the governments in Brazil and we said, okay, um, we have here a few tools that can make your classroom inclusive, which means getting some children that has some disabilities, which can be motor, physical, and even neurodiverse, which means autistic or with ADHD, to be included inside these classrooms and learn alongside with other students that doesn't have any disability. Another series of thought-provoking workshops called Knowledge Cafes brought participants together who in their daily lives might never meet and get them to share their experiences. This one was called the Intergenerational Knowledge Cafe, getting individuals from different age groups to discuss issues like healthy aging and discrimination. The purpose of this specific event is to enhance intergenerational collaboration, uh, break down misconception around ageism and think of aging as a, as a continuum and not as something that is uh, negative. Another workshop looked at gender equality in technology and the importance of role models in the tech industry because without prominent industry leaders in this field, young girls are less likely to join the tech sector and gender equality in ICT society will never be reached. Women actually constitute 50% of the population and technology is actually a role around us from um, our private lives to our business lives. So it makes sense for women to contribute to this huge industry that's growing exponentially. So that's the reason I believe we should, we should include them. Wow. So join us again tomorrow for our final highlights from this year's Wizzes Forum.